Okay, hello everyone. My name is Sandra Dinignat and in this video I'm going to show you how I created uh, some helmet skeleton concept design, just a simple design using a combination of uh, an X real shape, an X uh, algorithmic modeling, an X lattice and uh, an X render. So here I, you can see I use the an X real shape for creating the basic shape and I use the uh, spare shape, uh, uh, spare shape so for my primitive shape, and start to morphing them using transform cage. And sometimes I need to uh, split some faces, like like uh, like uh, like this, yeah, like this. And uh, again, I continue to morphing them using the transform cage. And here, I just need uh, to morph uh, some cage vertices or cage edge uh, based on my need and sometimes I made mistake like this and just 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 uh, undo them using the the control Z uh, command and I continue to morphing some cage edge or some cage face or cage edge until I got my final uh, shape. So here my final base shape and I switch to the algorithmic modeling and in this algorithmic modeling I prepare some node. I, I use some three, uh, the, uh, three nodes here, select face, the select face, subface and the hexagonal grid uh, nodes. And in this uh, hexagonal grid, I, I create some parameters in, in UNV for 10 by 10 numbers. And for the output, I just need uh, the curve of foot from that. And from this curve of output, I created the two lattice using the node size, the, using all these parameters. And I did some trial and error until I got my final shape just to to modify some node size, road size and fold of piston and here I think this is enough for this tube uh, body and after this I create some offset surface from the uh, from the uh, subdivision body and from that offset surface, I, I create a thickened body. And now I'm ready to enter the uh, rendering mode. So in this, in, in, in the rendering mode, rendering mode, I have applied some materials on it. I just uh, applied uh, two materials and this, this yellow uh, paint for the tube and uh, some carbon fiber for the shell body. Okay, after this, we just need to preview them in the Race Trace Studio and set some view and wait until the render is complete. And these are my renders result. Okay, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.